Right, you can't going, tell if you're serious. Going right, I mean, it would be kind of cool. <laughs> Alright, so we have this going back in. He's so been playing is, Ganon all night. He has been. Uh, he, he plays Ganon whenever he can. The only time he doesn't play Ganon is if he's in a bat, like if he's not winning. Yeah. Like so if he, he if should he can, be if he pretty can, confident about this game then. Um, well, he'll, he'll play Ganon game one and see and kind of feel it out is basically yeah. how it goes. He'll feel it out, see how, like, if he if he's feeling it, he'll stay Ganon. If he wins, he'll kind of stay Ganon. But so if he like, loses, he might switch to, like, Marth. Right off the start, he's actually being a lot less aggressive than his previous games. He's playing more patient because yeah. Andrew, with his good, insane punish game, you can't, like... If, yeah, when, when Andrew, when This is Evan actually trying. Like, mm -hmm. when he's playing just friendlies and stuff, he'll just do all these dick, like, jumping around, like... <laughs> In yeah. your face all the time. This is Evan when he's actually trying, just playing really methodical and just like. He's a bit more in the zone, that's for sure. Yeah, definitely. And it's, it's pretty evident. You can see his face. He's not. Yeah, he's not ha He's not super smiley as he usually is. He's very serious. You, you won't this. see him taunt. <laughs> not this. I mean, game. he probably will. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. <laughs> but this matchup, I think, is actually surprisingly difficult for Peach, unless the Peach is like very good in the matchup. Ooh, yeah. kind of misses messes up the ledge. Oh, there's the there. See, I told you, I told you the taunt. He's, he's throwing out those uh, safe uh, down airs on the ledge, anticipating the get up. Yeah. Um, and I guess with Peach, like you sort of have to. You have to roll, that. right? Like yeah. you have to roll with Peach because all of our other get up options are awful. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of like it just covers everything that Peach would usually do. But the reason why I think this matchup is kind of difficult is because Ganon has a lot of huge hitboxes that Peach. All of Peach hitboxes are fairly small. Ooh, an edge guard opportunity. And yeah, and as slow as Ganon is for this matchup, Peach uh, is also Ev very slow. Yeah. So. But I mean, Evan's not letting her get out the projectiles, except for that one time that we just saw. No, yeah, well, after, after after Evan died was why she got that one. But usually Evan won't let her. Evan. Yeah. No. But. Um, Evan's just going to play very slow, space all of his huge aerials. Yeah, he's waiting on the ledge there. He knows yeah, what see, he's that doing. Yeah, that fall off up air is so hard for Peach to deal with, just up air in general. Because, like, she has very few options in terms of getting... It's all horizontal, and it's very easy to predict where she's going to go unless she just falls straight to the ledge, which it's hard to stop anyway unless yeah. you read it. But so. now we get Peach throwing out the combos now. She finally got back on now, the now ledge. Now she gets on stage. Uh, but the thing is, one more hit and she's dead. If she just gets hit by a fair, she gets hit by a, even an up air might kill. But I was like saying this air. earlier. Evan always plays the uh, platforms. And he'll go down and he'll throw safe down airs Ooh, or nice forward edge. airs off the platform. And that's how he racks up the damage on Peach. Yeah. And it's hard for Peach to deal with that because they're actually a lot faster than a lot of her moves, even though it's yeah. Ganon. Like, his, a lot of Ganon's moves come out fairly quick compared to Peach's. Mm -hmm. So... It's hard for Peach to make combos. And, uh, she's doing a pretty good job so far. Kind of gets hit by the down throw up there. but Just about even game now. It's pretty even. Uh, Andrew took the stock after and, uh, after uh, Evan fell off the edge. I'm guessing accidentally and just it fell too far before his up could let him get back on. Yeah. Uh, and so Andrew just grabbed the ledge. Yeah, we're seeing but, some spacing. Peach is taking the time to get up the projectiles well, that's here. And how Evan's Peach, playing the platforms. Yeah, so. like he, he's playing the platforms because Peach has a hard time getting up there without being obvious. And see, yeah. That's what I mean about Peach's recovery. Like He just throws out a giant fair, and these up airs just cover so much that it's hard for Peach to recover. The floatiness, too. Peach can't yeah. really play that platform without getting punished. No, because it's so slow. Like you know, Evan probably knows if he's up there that she won't be able to do anything. Yeah, the nice back air to stop the recovery again. Peach has to roll on, so it's really hard for her to actually recover. Mm -hmm. So, Peach like does well in this matchup if she can control the game, but Evan's not letting that happen. And yeah, he's, he's dictating being the very pace. dominant. Yep, look at that. Yeah. So, see what I mean? Like, Peach's recovery is so easy to stop. He's just sitting by the edge, throwing out his aerials and stuff. She's and, like, trying to be safe, but it's just not working. She has no options is the problem. Like, all of his options are pretty much the same thing every time. He has very few mix-ups he can do. Misses that up the... I think he can make it... Yeah, just barely, but Evan's going to definitely stop that. Wow, and I believe... No, yeah. almost. Some good DI yeah, prevents him from dying. Still going so far. Oh, that up the other that And that's it. Gonna kill him. Think we're going to see a character change next game? For TTC? Yeah. Maybe. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if he feels more comfortable with Falco in this matchup. We'll see. That's the only other character I think could, could see him playing or switching to. Bit quicker. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, it doesn't seem like he's going to so far since they're going right in. Yeah, they're going right into the game, so. Yeah, he must be fairly confident with his peach this week. Uh, yeah, he, he had, I think he three, he got, it was three, two in winners, so he definitely has one game. It's just hard, it's just another, they probably weren't easy games. And now Evan's going to be really trying because he's playing for first. Which, once you get Evan playing for money, it's, 
Yeah. He, he's hard to beat. It was just like a, he had a Smash 4 money match with uh, Leather Daddy, a.k.a. Chris Riker, and he made Chris look like some total scrub that like yeah. just picked up Cloud that day. And, and Chris is tech well. And Chris is one of the best Smash 4 players in a region yeah. who won the weekly this week. Like, but he made he made Chris look like absolutely like he was awful. Yeah, well, Cloud's a relatively new character, and I, and Chris has been trying him for weeks now. But honestly, he's, I like think he's, it's, he's it's been really doing tough. extremely well. He's been doing very well. Like he's definitely found a character that suits him. Ooh, misses the ledge dash. Yep. So wow, this is something That's TTC no could take advantage of, especially with this dot face. But just but oh, gets, yep, there's just a kid stock. Fisted. Yeah, no go. All right, so loses the dot face, so he doesn't get the I think it's seventeen percent for dot face. He's the second strongest next to Stitch. Now, I think what Evan's trying to do here is he knows that Peach is going to be fishing for those turnips, so he's staying on the platform ready to jump down and down air. Yeah, like, he's he's making it hard for Andrew to find footing where he can feel safe and play defensive, because if Andrew stays still for any longer, like, Andrew, he's just going to be on top of him. A nice fair, though, knocks him off and messes up his edge guarding a little bit. Oh. So this is going to be rough for him because he has to get back into the middle of the stage now. Once, ooh, a bomb, but no, oh, just kind of throws wasted, it. Yeah. He didn't really waste it. Uh, Evan just kind of read that he would throw it and jumped out of the way. I think it was a fine throw. There's nothing wrong. There's no, like, wasting going on. Just, yeah, I think he tried recovery. to perfectly sweet spot that. That's why he kind of fl flew back a little bit. I think that was his idea. And see, this is where I mean. Andrew kind of get Once Andrew gets in control, Peach gets in control, it's all right. But... Now, so for this stage, I think at this stage a little bit better too, because the plat there's only the top platform, because the bottom, the side ones kind of go up and down, so he doesn't have as many platforms to camp on all the time. So I'm surprised. Like, I wonder how this matchup is on FD, because yeah. it doesn't like get and get those platforms that she's been using so effectively. So I'm wondering if there may be a matchup thing I don't know, but just yeah. from, based on what I'm seeing right now, Peach's it seems like recovery a might also ha be more dominant on FD because she can take that high road. Yeah. So I'm, I'm curious about, I am guess, there must be some sort of matchup thing I don't know. The easy edge guard there from TTC. Yep. And he's up a full stock, almost. A yeah, nice down smash to knock him off. Ooh, that that might, this uh, clean edge guard oh, here. Oh, good the slap. reverse fair. The reverse fair knocks him the other way. If that knocked him forward, it definitely could have been an easy stock. But now Evan has his footing back in the middle of the stage. Once he's in the middle of the stage against Peach, that's when it's hard. Because Peach has very little room to move, which is what she, she needs, basically. And the nice other thing, too, area. with a stage with platforms is she can't recover through the middle. She has to go to the ledge, and it's getting back on that ledge that she's having a yeah, hard time she, with. Yeah, she can get on the stage. It's just hard to move anywhere on the stage because there's just so many, like, huge hitboxes coming Ooh, out. and good edge nice guard. Nice fair and edge guard, game. and that's game. Wow. So 1-1, one, one, I think the stage is a lot more helpful because there's not as many platforms. It's a lot harder for him to get up to the top platform so he doesn't do up do it much because he can't jump from platform to platform as efficiently. Yeah. So I imagine he'll want to take her to like stadium or something like that. Oh, and we're going oh, to Yoshi. Really going, interesting. Going to Yoshi. Heck, right. Wow. I think it's fine. It's small. Ganon kills super early, especially on Peach, who's really light. So I can definitely see why this would be in Ganon's favor and yeah. why you want to go here. Um. But so far, Andrew's playing this very well. He's got this 78% up. Yeah, because the stage is lower down, we're definitely going to see some really interesting recoveries by Peach this match and some really interesting ledge guards. Yeah, he has a few more. Like, he has less options to cover. Ooh, that, oh, I think, wow. I'm not sure if that was just bad DI or what happened there, but he just kind of flew right off. Yeah, wow, that was quick, quick. Yeah, and Andrew is just kind of playing really well right now. He's not letting, I imagine, either if... if if this gets reset, I think we're going to see a Marth come out from... Uh, and that would be uh, a wise choice, too. Um, but we'll see. So far, Andrew's up a full stock over Evan here. And it looks like Ganon's just having a hard time getting out from the platforms, getting down into the center of the stage. Yeah, I think the, I think the spacing on the platforms might actually be harming him. Some little Randall help there. Yeah. Why is this tag anal? That's just Evan Dennis. He, like... I can't, I can't explain it more than that's Evan Dennis. Uh, that's just how he is. It's, he does that every yeah. time. His tag in the brackets, but like it's, it's just how he is. It's there's nothing else we can do about it really. <laughs> yeah, well, you should, you should see his Smash Four tags. They're much more interesting. Yeah. <laughs> The Smash 4 tag for the crew battle was super anal, so he, he insists that that has to be his tag. We'll let yeah, we'll let we'll let it him do it. Some Randall almost helped there. Uh, now we're again Andrew's up, still up a full stock. It's made him even ever since he took the full stock. Let's 
So see, this is what I mean, where Ganon just kind of like hits up airs, hits him with these aerials that are just so hard for Peach to deal with. And like, he, Andrew did a very good job, job, at, job at dodging those up airs on the way down there, but they're very hard to dodge. They're just so huge and they cover so much area. Peach is so linear in her recovery that they're easy to throw out. And once again, Ganon was playing the top platform there and was forced to come down. So. It seems that Evans had really have a hard time doing what he was doing in the other matches. Coming down from those platforms, getting the easy down airs yeah. and forward airs, throwing out the neutrals. I think Andrew's just, just playing it. it a lot smarter where he's kind of not, like, he's playing more in control where he's not giving an like him much space. If he goes up there, he punishes him for it or tries yeah, to at least. So he'll go up and throw it a neutral. Yeah, he, like, which you think is not that great as because Ganon can come down and trade, but Evan hasn't really been expecting it as much, I don't think. An up air there just kills. That's what I mean about the stage being really small. Now, can we see a comeback? Why, Dennis? It's possible. Like, Gan oh, Ooh, that not, not and if we're going to see a good edge guard here. Not if that's happening. Yep. Doesn't quite do I don't think he wanted that F tilt. So he's playing the platform again, but I think we're going to see. Yeah, that, that yep, just going to do it. That's yeah. it. Wow. All right, so 2 1 for TTC. Our computer guy left for a second, so we'll get it updated here in a bit. But it is 2 1 for TTC. I guess if you can if you can do it, that'd be. Yeah, it's really it's right there. All right, so we're going back to Yoshi's because yeah, that's I that's why I said because it's Evan. Uh, so here he's, he's kind of going back up that top platform again. He's trying to play that top platform game and just like come down with aerials. Um, so let's see how this matchup goes. He went back to Yoshi, so I'm guessing this is where he feels more most comfortable in this matchup, at least as the Ganon. Didn't go so well last time, so we'll see. So far, he's got Andrew to the ledge. That back air like almost kills, and this is it, it makes for an EG edge guard. Who is considered the top melee player like in NB? So you're looking at the top two right now. TTC and Squidward are definitely our two best players. Like in pretty much everyone's minds, they're our two best. I don't think there's anyone that would argue. Uh, but in terms of best, best, it'll be Evan, which is Squidward. When he's playing his best, he's definitely the best melee player. And Andrew has been out, catching up quite a bit, though. If everything works out, we're going to see him at Get On My Level in Toronto. Here yeah, soon. so we'll see how he does against everyone else, which isn't like he. We, we have got we have one we had one of the best Quebec players come to our big FGX tournament, and he I think he lost to him in melee actually. So Evans also lost to Mew 2 King, but we've definitely seen him come a long way since then, especially yeah. with lots of people coming out to the weeklies. Yeah, he's well, definitely a time difference. Well, he's also been playing. Andrew's been getting a lot better too, and I think he, so. That's why you're seeing Andrew for for a long time, and like Evan was just far and away the best. Like like Andrew was good. And we have another player named Mara Wolf who's very good. Yeah, but, Mara Wolf stellar. And they were but they were the second like two three for a long time. Like they were very Ooh, even. Ooh, and he dropped shield. Yeah, this is see, it's Squidward's just kinda playing he's playing this Oh, gets in the meat wow. grinder. Yeah, Peach is playing really dominant dominant center stage, which is really interesting. I don't think we have anyone come out from Sackville, unfortunately, so it'd be it'd be great to see you though. One thing we are starting up is if you can download netplay. Uh, through the Anthers ladder. Ooh, falls off with the edge guard, but kills yeah, himself. We're probably going to be seeing more net play tournaments. Yeah, but on. if you can uh, hook up net play, I don't, I don't know if you have it yet or not. But if you can do that up, we're we're getting a pretty big Atlantic Canada, not even just NB net play scene going. Where and all you need for net play is you need a GameCube controller, the adapter, the adapter, the adapter and dolphin, and That's dolphin. It. That's it. Yeah, and you really don't need a decent rig. If you have a crappy computer, the compu you probably like for throw melee, a different yeah, GPU. Yeah, like for, for, for melee, you don't need that much. If you're going to play like PM net play or yeah, something. Yeah, you might need something better. And yeah, Moncton's also probably going to be starting up their weeklies again soon. And if you're ever having trouble finding an adapter, you can always go for the May Flash, which has the PC built in, so yeah. you don't need to do any playing around. But yeah, net play scene's getting really huge, and a lot of people from MB are hopping on there, asking people to play, get some practice in, have mini I think, tournaments. I, yeah. I do have net play. I was more interested in Smash 4. Yeah, that's perfectly like we net play. You can still join. Like people play Smash 4 on there. Yeah, it's like, just it's just a bit different because of the, the yeah. lag or depending on how far away you are from the other person. Yeah. But um, you, you need a pretty decent computer. Yeah, pro I mean it, it doesn't surprise me. There's a lot going on. But I guess we kind of weren't commentating the match too much. But I think it's fine. Like we we know what's going on. Pretty much. Uh, Evan played a lot better that match. He was playing a lot safer. Oh, yeah. Playing the top platform a lot more better. He was he was playing it before. But he was playing a lot more like 
better. I think so, he's anticipating how Peach is going to creep up on him. Yeah. So here we have Dreamland, which, again, I'm surprised he's not going to FD. I mean, maybe that's just not me not knowing, but I can definitely see Peach loves the stage just because there's so much. There's a lot more room. There's so and much room, recovery and recovery well. is going to live for a very long time. Yep. But see, this is, you're seeing Try Hard Evan now, which is very scary. <laughs> Yeah. Wow, see? He's not even giving Ch Peach a chance to yeah. pop out anything. No, see, that's it. There's... Oh. Right, no, not quite that. Next one will kill if he hits it again. And... Oh, that shot oh. hits him the other way, so we're good. Center stage, okay. And... Is that going to be it? See, we P see Peach taking that high recovery, which can be really beneficial. It, it makes it stock. really hard for Ganon to deal with, because he can't get up that high. Like, someone like Falco could get up that high. Yeah, Maybe Falco Fox. Fox. But, like, Dan is not going to be getting up that high anytime soon. No. So here we go. We have a little string from him. Yeah, we'd love to have you out. We always want more people. If you have a setup, we'd, we're always happy if you bring it, too. But there's usually enough for Smash 4, especially. A back air there takes a stock. But yeah, we'd love to see you out. We're trying to grow the scene and get as many people out. Every just see if your friends look carpool. Like, just yeah, get like, some buddies together you, play Smash. You know? Yeah, like, just get some gas money. Like, you're good. Like, this is a great time. It's like the, probably if you're in, if you're playing Smash, this is the best thing to do for NB wise. Like this is yeah, where, this really is where you should this is where you should be if you're trying to improve your Smash play. Especially uh, one thing we're doing is we're gonna start uh, changing the uh, system a little bit. So I don't remember the exact way it's changing. I don't I don't remember the exact way, but we're gonna be doing a lot more round robin pools. Uh, which is what we did today. Uh, we did round robin pools of 27 people, and then we put all those people into a top 16 bracket of all the people that, like, four people from each pool got out out of, like, seven, or I think one had six. So pretty much a lot of people got out if you're, like, decent enough, and then you play in the top 16 bracket. So if we have enough setups, which we did today, we can do that a lot more frequently. And it, it gives you so many more games you get to play. Because usually if you're not, if you're still learning, you just kind of get like, oh, two out of the bracket. And you're just like, okay, well, I was like, I yeah, didn't really yeah. learn that, a lot. That's a bummer, right? Because you come here and you pay money. And then as soon as you're out, it's just like, you can't play friendly. Hey, I go to these tournaments. Games. Guess who I am. You pay, you play, I pay. It sounds like something Malachi would have, but I don't know who that would be. Now, if you so, want to know the drive from Sackville to Freddy, it really depends what highway you take, but it's really not that long. Uh, if it, yeah, I don't know exactly how long. It's a little bit. It's a little, it's a little bit out of Moncton, isn't it, Sackville? Or is yeah. It the other way? I don't think it's 30 minutes. Oh, sea salt. Okay, I wouldn't have guessed that. Sea salt, the god. It's the god. Yes, yeah, easy. Shoot you down, nose. Sea salt, the god. Sea salt. <laughs> did you do you know? Did you see the? You weren't here for the Smash Four crew battle, were you? No, I wasn't. It was sea salt. Racket. Sea salt um, came in the crew battle and came in against someone with two socks left. He destroyed those two socks. Yeah. And he lost one, but like he crushed the guy. Played against Boat. Um, took all three of Boat's stocks, while only losing one. And then took another stock. No, how old is he anyway? He is 12. Man, I swear. You know, the scene keeps growing and we get these kid prodigies. I can't keep up, man. I'm 21 now. <laughs> I'm growing, I'm growing. Oh, Famous, yeah. By the he, took, he took two stocks off of Famous, only losing one. Man, Famous, get your stuff together, 13. man. 13. Oh, you're 13. Sorry, I heard 12 earlier. Today. 13. It's all the same. <laughs> Man, you might even get armpit hair soon. Good times. Anyway, so this has been a pretty even game so far. Yeah, we see Peach taking those very safe recoveries. But Ganon is just playing so safe, throwing out those huge aerials. That playing that kill. platform, throwing out the back airs. Oh, and we got some center stage play, and Peach is flying. Yeah, see, he's using those platforms because you know Peach is going to recover high. Well, she has, has to. Yeah, there's no other option. And there we have it. Right, the stock's gonna be over. Turn out each recovers. And once again, back on the platform, playing it safe as he was yeah, earlier. Yeah, he goes up there. Peach can't go up there, so he no, just stays up risky. there until he feels comfortable to come down. He was about to throw out a uh, forward smash, I believe, which I don't think is very safe. Yeah, that's right. almost kills. He just barely doesn't kill. And he's waiting for that low recovery so he can hit her. 
Yeah, see, that's, that's what she has to do is, like, she has to get on the stage and, like, see how hard that is to actually just get, like, yeah. Andrew's very good, so he can get back on sometimes and just get, yeah, he trades, but I think that was a fair. But yeah, see how hard it is to get back on? Like, he's playing it super well to get back on when he does, but most, like, newer players would just not be able to recover there. So there we go, he gets a nice edge guard, and now it's a one stock game. So let's see if Andrew can uh, reset the bracket and we can go to a second set. Cause that'd be great to see a second set of these guys. Both of them are playing very, very well. Yeah, very tense. Once again, we have Evan Dennis playing the platform. He's trying to keep it safe, he knows that if Peach gets that high percentage combo, that his stock is going to be over. But so far, Peach is getting center stage here and not letting up. But she's still behind a percent, and that's not a good thing against Gan. No. Yeah, definitely for sure there, bud. Oh, and we see the back air, and... See, this is the edge guarding. Oh. This is what we're targeting. Here we go. Page. Depending on what she's going to do, I don't know. Oh, we got center stage play again. We're, we might see a comeback. We have a good chance. Now, like, see, now Evan has center stage. Like, okay, so now Andrew kind of oh. took it back. But it's really hard. Once once he gets oh, in the middle that like forward that, air. Here we go. Corner, almost does it. Let's see. And she's recovering high, and Evan is going to the top platform. He's trying to hit her. He was just out of range. He wants to end the game. Well, he probably will, so he's trying to end it. He has the, another set to play with if he needs to, so he's just trying to end it. Yeah, we see Peach playing a very safe center Ooh, stage. that okay. jab is going to knock him right what off. What are we going to see for the recovery? So here we go. This is going to be really hard. This might yeah, be it, that and back that's it, ladies it. and gentlemen. Even at the god percent, Evan Dennis yep. takes it. Evan Dennis takes it. Very good games from both players. Wow. Both players playing very, very 